This is Somnalatic Sanity. A world of sensible thinking. A world of sensible thinking information. Known unknown. And unknowable. Yildele okabanga, yoluazi olpusi. Oluazi wayo, olunga ziwa, nolunge na waziwa. Plenty of greetings, precious people. Welcome to Somnalatic Sanity, where we make sense about anything. Today is a very relaxed time. It's a father and son thing. I thought before I talk, let me just talk with one of my sons. I've got so many signs. Today, I picked this one to talk. This is Somnalatic Sanity. Do you understand what Somnalatic Sanity? Yeah, Baba. What Somnalatic Sanity on your own? Is somnalitic sanity is the sanity of where usomnala is fundisa the truth about isn't isn't there la imshabeni which we thought were wrong but are actually right. Mm. Yes, somnalitic is all about me making sense in my own way, in my own world. In a chayami dele kaba nga dele mbo nga izeto. You you're quite right. Kisha tamakshali zanda mnyako komundo. Let's start with the father, because there can be no boy without the father. Yeah. According to you, what is a father? What do you think a father is? So, a father is a role model from my sanity. From father, your own sanity? Yes. Hmm. A father is a role model to a son. Why I say this is because hmm. a son is supposed to look from a father because the father is the future of a son. Okay is a, a father is also a god to a son. Why is that so? As Umshop and I, when Umbrella a man or you're looking for guidance, you call upon to God. He shot. There's also a son when he has his own problems or he needs help on something that is too mature for him, he calls his father. He for, asks the father. Yes, he asks the father for guidance. Do you say a father is an old version of the son? Yes, because as I say again, mm. the father is the future of mm. the son. Mm. The father gives the son a path where a son sometimes has to fix where the father has made mistakes and also take the successful parts that the father has also mm. given him. Can a son correct the father if he sees the father is going astray? Can he call the father and call him to order and like, say, hey, I think that you are not doing it. What do you think? What's your thought? I think that is not supposed to be done. Why? Who wronged you? <laughs> yes, the father is wrong. The father can be wrong mm -hmm. because he's also human. We also have to think mm. of that. But the son cannot say, Daddy, no, we are wrong here. Okay. Because in that sense, you are telling your own teacher, or you're telling your role model would say, No, this is wrong. So. You are telling him that you don't need him anymore. Okay. You understand everything, you know life. Do you think a son can learn from a father? Father's mistake, father's right. Well, how should a son take the wrongs of the father? The son is supposed to learn from the father. He should use those mistakes so that they can be the son's strength in the future. In other words, you said, okay, my father pitfall was here. So let me be careful that I don't fall. Fall without me going to him and correcting. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. You know, one of the mistakes that happens, for me to be who I am, the things that I've learned from my father, I think maybe I would say 80% of my life, being bold, truthful, not being afraid of any, not buying any face, I learned from my father. There is a part that I learned from my mother. I never went back to my father and said, Daddy, you were wrong here. Yeah. Just thought, okay, this is what I think I didn't like from my father. Or this is what I think I should, be, I should not be taking a route. So hence brings the family, Kasom Nala, and not necessarily to be exactly like my father, because everybody got his own fingerprint. So you are saying, the son will also learn from the mistake of the father. Yes. Hence, I normally say, for me, 
Everybody's my teacher, my son, my, son, my daughter, my wife, my enemy, whoever. I learn from everybody. Even, even, even a drunkard, even a mad person, you can learn a lesson from without me going to correct the person. Let's talk about when do a son say, now I'm, I enter the position of honoring my father rather than respecting. For me to respect, it means you do everything that I say. Because there, there has to come a time where a son is no longer just the boy where you say, God do this, do this. He's developing his own vision his own passion without despising a father. Honor will always mean acknowledge your father. This is Zulma City, we are we honor somebody, we are Mazisa, we are Shonipa. Yes. But we will respect a city. We are Mlalela Wenzel, exactly your action. Um, I think a son should start honoring their father once they hit a stage where they are exposed to They've learned from the father, they are exposed to other people's information. Learning, you can never say you have learned something because mm -hmm. everything changes in life. So you say learning is a process. Yes, learning is an that everything. never stop. Yes. Honoring our father, I think you should start when you have now understand or know what is your path that you want to take or the journey you want to take path. Honoring, I think it's supposed to be, you want me to be specific with age yeah. group? Or whatever, whatever. It's your thought, it's your summit. <laughs> uh, for me, I think it's supposed to be started at the age of 18. Since now everything is uh, exposed into internet, you can, uh, children at the age of 16, they now start embarking upon their paths. Now you see they start being traders, some they start starting businesses. Some take that as an advantage of saying, no, I know life now. Does honoring the Father free you from saying, Baba, this is what I think I want to do. What is your view? Or you, does it mean I no longer need the Father God God is now? No, it doesn't mean that. Me coming to my Father asking him, is to ask him, is this path am I taking the right way? Because I may... How should I go about if Even if it's right, how should I go about it? Yes, me. I might think that drugs are good for selling. But a father will tell me, no, Dotana, this is wrong. Because you're going to get arrested, one. Mm -hmm. You might make your children to live a sufferable life, two. Mm -hmm. So he'll give me reasons to, for me to understand. That also shows, Uguti, I'm still honoring my father and asking him for guidance. Wow. You are watching Somnalatic Sun. A world of sensible thinking. A world of sensible thinking information. Known unknown. And unknowable. Yildele ukabanga, yoluazi olpusi. Oluazi wayo, olunga ziwa, nolunga nawa ziwa. There are fathers, okay? Who are not just guiding you. But now you are old. But the father tells you who to marry, who not to marry. What is your thought? Kumina, I think that's, that's harsh. That's a harsh father. Yes. Selfish one. Yes, because that father is forcing the child to go in a path where he doesn't like. Because doing something that you don't like mm -hmm. will only end in... Especially in marriage. Yes, will only end in a very bad way which will also give the name of the family. A bad name? Yes. Uh, I, I think so too. I think a father that tries to direct his daughter who to marry or not to marry, I feel a father should have done that when the child was growing. Teach what's the right man, what's the right wife. When we were living at home, we, we didn't talk about it. I like that question, why? What, what did you say? I said, why does a mother teach a son how to treat a woman, but a father doesn't teach a daughter how to treat a husband? That's a challenge, man. I've never thought about it. I think basically it is because normally men have been portrayed as abusers. 
even when the girl grows, Toye, you must, you must be careful of this guy, boys. Be careful of... Sometimes we forget to prepare a lady. And even the ladies also, they forget to prepare themselves. They don't know even what to look up to a man. Some of them, they look for education, money, money, businessmen, the house. That can be a product of a man, but it's not always a man with money that is a man. My privilege is that I always stand before people and teach everything. So I would say it depends if my daughter listens when I teach that this is the right way, this is the right way. I feel like when my daughter get into the relationship, having stay and talk with my daughter, get to the relationship, that I feel is a wrong relationship. I would say, I wasn't expecting this from you, mm. but I cannot stop you. If you think, according to what I've raised you, this is the right person for you, I will support you. Because sometimes we may not like what you are doing, but at the end of the day, you got to support your son or your child. I remember one of your brothers took a turn on the business that I was totally preaching against. But when I felt I've tried to convince him enough and he's not convinced, I didn't just say, okay, go your way. I was there for him. When he was falling, I picked up a pieces together with him. I helped him, even legally. I had to act as a father, not because I was endorsing what he was doing. I didn't also sit down and say, you see, I told you. There are many times where I've seen sons, whether spiritual sons or physical sons, biological sons, going astray according to how I see things. But because I've taught them, sometimes the best way of you learning is me letting you do mistakes, especially when I see that they are not that so much dangerous then that's where also you gain a respect. When you told your son, this is a wrong woman, this is a wrong boy to your daughter, mm. and then he goes on. And then when he thinks hit him or hit her, she's gonna come back to who? To you. Fine. And make yourself available and be open. Because I believe there are times where you rebuke your son, correct your son when he's, and then he re reach a certain stage. Now you start to sit down and counsel and guide him, especially if he wants you to come in. Don't intrude to him. Let me talk maybe to the girls and the boys. I think if you stay with your dad, with your mom, you should completely obey the rules of the home or the house, the family. Complete everything, don't go astray. Although a good father, also a wise father. When you grown up, he will give you some certain space, although you are still under his roof. But if you are still under the roof, it doesn't matter whether you had a white beard. My view is that you need to obey. Obey, it means take all my instructions that I say. The reason is because you haven't come to a place where you can make a decision. I'm training you. Now training, it means I'm making you do things that will help you. There are things that my father put on me when I was a boy, and they are still with me. I'll make an example. My father would wake up early in the morning. Ati puma we shisayo ngena we mandayo. Excel. And Ubaba Mayhamba will leave me with responsibility. And not only me, all of us. When he comes back after six months, Sometimes after a year, after nine months, when he comes back at home, we must give an account. I was shepherding cows. My other brothers were shepherding goats and other stuff. But me alone, I was shepherding the cows. When my father come literally, I have to give an account. How have I been handled? He pesi ezele, he penga zele, he peya limale, he pogo nzega. Same thing in Allah, but for all about that. If that is not the case, you take a punishment of law. So that was where I learned a responsibility. My, my dad will work sometimes, sing. Every time he work, when he lagged, but he didn't have studios like I have today. Mm. He didn't have production like we have today, no. But I think that man, if you go to our time, 
he will make a very good song composer, poet. You know, he would do the poet every time when he comes. So I pick up things from my father, and some of them I pick up unconscious. If my subconscious mind were recorded. I like working, I, I'm, I'm like addicted, I love my job. That I pick up from my father. Sometimes it will be rainy, my dad will be working outside, up and down me. We are by this, hey, and I will look here, yes, I will say, look, my boy, I go, so we are not paying the spin, we say, Kaya, and all those stuff. I think that one also has built in me luck working with the family because I used to work with the family. It's more paying in Abisio Lima, Sambes, Yosebenza, Twaipin Komoto. I think that one has helped me also to know that when you are a man, you work for your family. However, I feel girls need to understand also that they must be trained to make their own life, mustn't depend on men. We mustn't confuse the role that a man plays. There is no woman in my view that should think a man should work for you. It was never like that. It was always a case of mother and father working together for their children if they are still young. Oh, mama is there. That means grocery was a responsibility of both. When other kids are grown up, they can also take part. If we are building a, a home, it was never my mother's responsibility alone or my father's responsibility. That, that's a bond. Meaning this thing of women thinking somebody owes you because we are Tandana and I. It's that, like a girl. A girl think a boy must supply you. Because your father should be taking care of you. I think basically those are the things that forms my life as a father. It's not a question. Hence, if you look at me, I don't have any entertainment outside my family. Complete out. Two, that's how I was brought up by my father. Two, we didn't have too much friends outside. We had friends, like I have friends. Some, some of my friends, you don't even know them. You don't of, often see them. If there's nothing that makes us, you don't. I don't have time to go and spend with friends. It's like men, I see men outside, they're going to eat a braai, and you leave your kids. I personally think a father should be very transparent. You shouldn't drink what you cannot drink in front of your children. You shouldn't eat what you cannot eat together with your family. That's me. That's how I think. Thank you for watching Somalatic Sanity. For more information, contact us on 079-1755-628. Like and follow our page on Facebook at King Somnala Deshnala Mandate. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube at King Somnala Deshnala Mandate. Hit the notification bell so you can be the first to watch a new video every time once uploaded. Leave your comment in the comment section. Also, follow King Somnala on TikTok at King Somnala underscore plantologist. Follow King Somnala on my Warp Network app. You can download the app on Google Play Store or find it in your Google Chrome.